So suppose we have the integral then of x e to the 2x squared dx. Okay, now looking at this pattern structure here, we can see that at the front here, this is based on the differential of 2x squared. Because if we differentiated 2x squared, we would get a 4x. So, in other words, I know that this must be the differential of e to the 2x squared, or something along those kind of lines. Now, I've left a little bit of a space here, and you'll see why. Let's just go back to differentiating e to the 2x squared. Let's suppose we had f of x was equal to e to the 2x squared. By the chain rule, f dash x would be equal to e to the 2x squared multiplied by the differential of 2x squared, which would be 4x. We would essentially have 4x e to the 2x squared. 4x e to the 2x squared. Look how similar it is to that. Notice though, there's no 4 at the front here. So in order for this to give the same answer as that, I would need to have a quarter at the front, because a quarter multiplied by the 4 here would cancel out and just leave me with the x e to the 2x squared. What do you see here? So this is basically the answer, but don't forget to put plus c. All right, let's try another one. What about the integral then of, say, 4x squared e to the 5x cubed with respect to x? Again, we've got an exponential function. This is my f of x. And if I differentiate this, we get 15x squared. And look again how similar it is to this. We have 4x squared as opposed to 15x squared. So because it's got the same kind of format as we have up here, okay, I'm going to know that this started life out, if you like, as e to the 5x cubed. Again, I'm leaving a space here. And I'm going to differentiate e to the 5x cubed. So if we had f of x was equal to e to the 5x cubed, differentiating this, f dash x, would give me e to the 5x cubed multiplied by the differential of 5x cubed, which would be 15x squared. So you can see that I've got an x squared and times an e to the 5x cubed, which is essentially what you've got here. But we've got a 15, and what we need is a 4. So in order for this to work, I want the 4, so I put the 4 in, but the 15 that I've got here needs to be cancelled out. So that becomes 4 fifteenths. 4 fifteenths, then, e to the 5x cubed is the integral of this function, plus the constant. All right, let's try a trig one. OK, so let's have one more. Let's go for 2e to the 3 sine x cos x dx. Now again, when we look at this one, we notice that our f of x is 3 sine x, and if you differentiate that, you're going to get 3 cos x. And essentially, I've got that function here. I've got a cos x. So that means that this must have come from differentiating e to the 3 sine x. Again, I've left a space here, so I can fill this in with a constant which will make this correct. Let's try over here to see what differentiating e to the 3 sine x gives. And if we differentiate that, f dash x would equal e to the 3 sine x multiplied by the differential of 3 sine x, which is 3 cos x. So again, you see that I have got 
essentially east times 3 sine x cos x written here. Only I've got this additional 3 here. Now I want the 2, so I better put that in. But differentiating this will give me an extra 3. I don't want that 3, so I'm going to have to cancel it out. So it becomes 2 thirds. 2 thirds e to the 3 sine x then is this integral, okay, is the result of this integral. Don't forget again, the plus c. We'll try one more, okay, and in this one, we'll introduce a fraction at the front, so it makes it look a little bit more complicated. Let's say we have 5 thirds e, and just to make a change from sine x and cos x's, let's have a tan x function, 2 tan x, okay, and we'll put down here sec squared x, okay, dx. Now you should know that the differential of a tan x function is a sec squared x function. So differentiating 2 tan x would give me 2 sec squared x. So you can see that this has this particular format up here. So in other words, it would have come from differentiating something of the form e to the power 2 tan x. So we'll go over here and we'll just see what differentiating um, that function would give. So if we have f of x equals e to the 2 tan x, okay, differentiating this f dash x would give e to the 2 tan x and times by the differential of 2 tan x, which is 2 sec squared x. So looking at this, how does it differ from this function over here? Well, we've got a 2, and there is no 2 over here, but a 5 thirds. So I want the 5 thirds, but I don't want the 2 that I collect from differentiating this. So I multiply this by a half, so it cancels out the 2, that 2 there. So this is essentially the integral of this function here, apart from the constant. And in this particular one, I can clean this up. So finally, we have 5 over 6, 5 sixths e to the 2 tan x plus the constant. So hopefully, as I say, take your time over this. It's quite a hard concept to get used to. But the more practice you have on this, hopefully, the better you'll become. And you won't most probably need this column over here. You should be able to soon recognize what to do in your head.